for everybody who uses Twitter, many of us feel as though we are pawns in the hands of a vengeful group of petty and ridiculous gods in San Francisco who determine whether or not your freedom of speech will simply be rejected. At any random moment, if you say that a man is a man and a woman is a woman, your account could just disappear. He's like, I want to be transphobic, but Twitter won't let me. It's so f***ed up. <laughs> Elon Musk arrived at the Twitter headquarters carrying an actual literal sink. He tweeted, let this sink in. <laughs> God, the biggest nerds, dude. <laughs> Got him. He's so funny. Elon Musk, he's so funny. I love his sense of humor. I, I gotta say, like, the, the, the fact that Elon Musk is somewhere between an Atlas Shrug character and a Bond villain is really one of the great things about American economic life these days. Here's what that video sounded and looked like. You can actually see Musk walking in. No, what he is is a lame ass. Laughing with everybody carrying in the sink. No one knows what's going on. Pretty spectacular stuff. He then tweeted out that he was meeting some wonderful people at Twitter. And uh, I can only hope that that means that all the people he is not meeting, he is going to fire. Twitter, as far as I'm aware, has never run a profit. Uh, I'm not aware that Twitter is actually a money-making machine. And you can see why. A video was put out by one of the Twitter employees showing what a day in their life is like. And let me just say, it looks like a vacation spa. It looks like nobody does any work around there. And they all sit around playing foosball all day. Oh, damn, it's so, wow. Better working conditions than what I allow? Unacceptable. I'm sure that's the reason why it f is, is not profitable. Has this motherfucker seen Tesla? Like, what are you talking about? Has Elon Musk ever turned profit that wasn't on the government dime? These motherfuckers so culture war obsessed that and he loves how elon triggers the libs that he forgot that tesla literally every company tesla oper elon operates is single-handedly held up by either government subsidies or other uh measures that the government has allowed them to make money off of like because they're building a fleet of you know electric vehicles they are able to get money from other companies that are not doing that you know what i mean it's like and he's also failed he's failed so many times despite being propped up by the government it's so stupid he's gonna now point to what like uh dumbass amenities that the company offers so you don't actually do a mutiny or a, a labor union to be like this is why it's not profitable ben shapiro mr i know the economy mr economy understander mr harvard law graduate over here is gonna unironically do the corporate america version of like avocado toast is the reason why millennials can't buy a home like every single one of those amenities in the day in the life videos that you see from these tech andies is literally so that they stay at the workplace longer dumbass it is so that i ask for more money all day here is a video from one of the twitter employees not all that long ago a day in the life of twitter as a twitter employee so this past week went to sf for the first time at a twitter office badge in honestly took a moment to just soak everything in what a blessing one eternity later I played some foosball with my friends to kind of there are no these videos are so f cringe okay they're cringe as f but like there's a reason for why companies do this shit and i'm sure spacex and tesla probably have similar amenities as well it's every f silicon valley tech company that operates this way so they can justify f bringing on interns and like having them be interns for as long as they possibly can it's 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 done with a deliberate and specific purpose it's to underpay the employees it's to make them stay for longer at the workplace unwind a bit went to the library to kind of get mm. some more work done Obviously, so there's there's that that's office. that's great now by the way it, it should be noted that the twitter price to, to earnings ratio has been historically extraordinarily out of whack because twitter has virtually no revenue but it has a worth that is very 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 high oh wait you mean you mean to tell me elon musk did bought another overvalued company wow hmm what ben just said here reminds me of a certain company Company. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Tesla. Again, no analysis whatsoever. Okay. Literally just pure culture war bullshit. He's like, Elon triggers the libs. Elon triggers the libs. And that's why I'm going to act like he's a master businessman. If he was a annoying lib, I would be ripping into Tesla right now. And so what that means that they've been blowing through money like nobody's business. Okay, there are certain companies like Meta where Facebook actually earned an enormous amount of money from advertising revenue. But if you're looking at Twitter, what exactly is the investment priority over at Twitter? How do they even make their cash? Nobody seems to understand this business. Well, Musk having now paid well over market value. Wait, isn't he literally just saying Elon is such a idiot for buying a company that no one understands how they make revenue how they generate revenue like first of all that's really stupid because like of course people understand how twitter generates revenue they generate revenue through ads right but like how are you saying like elon musk is such a 
Bond villain and an Ayn Rand character. He's such a brilliant businessman. And then simultaneously be like, Twitter sucks. It's dog shit. It's the worst company in America. And very similar to how overvalued Elon Musk's other company, Tesla, is. This is like ripping into Elon. He's literally just shitting on Elon in this entire video without actually mentioning Elon Musk's name. But because like you're supposed to like Elon Musk because he's owning the libs, you, you read this as like, oh man, he's just owning the libs. Isn't that so funny? For Twitter is going to have to actually bring people into line. All of the Twitter employees shrieking at the sky over Elon Musk going and going to the Twitter headquarters and taking over. He also, by the way, changed his biographical description on his Twitter profile to Chief Twit and added his- Wait, that's it? He just like said Elon is owning the libs and he'll finally make the business uh, viable by overpaying billions of dollars for a company that has no discernible way to like get in the green. And then he said, and now we're moving on to like, oh, well, he's owning all the libs that work at Twitter. His location is Twitter HQ. Leslie Berlin, the chief marketing officer for Twitter, tweeted out, Elon is in the SF office this week meeting with folks walking the halls, continuing to dive in on the important work y'all do. If you're in San Francisco and see him around, say hi. Well, this follows hard on a bunch of Twitter employees issuing a letter to Elon Musk and the board of directors. And I gotta say, the, the entitlement mentality of so many people in the tech sector is truly astonishing. Maybe they should go learn to code if Elon Musk fires them. Quote, we the undersigned Twitter workers believe the public conversation. Wait, what? What do they think that people at Twitter do? Wait, what? Did you just tell a bunch of programmers that they need to learn to code? Like, what's the joke there? How does Ben Shapiro think Twitter operates? How does he think that, like, a, a, a website, a platform like Twitter can, like, you know, continue existing? Like, what? Does he think it's just, like, a bunch of liberal arts majors sitting in a room and they're just like, who do we cancel next? Uh, uh, throw them in the cancel pile. That's the only way this company can continue uh, existing. They're, like, they're like picking Ben Shapiro's uh, account and, like, throwing it into a cauldron. And then the cauldron lights on fire and that's how you continue. Right, they're a bunch of witches. <laughs> what the f is in jeopardy. Elon Musk's plan to laugh 75% of Twitter workers will hurt Twitter's ability to serve the public conversation. A threat of this magnitude is reckless, undermines our users and customers' trust in our platform, and is a transparent act of worker intimidation. Wait, wait, so if I buy a company and I decide that 75% of you are useless, that's worker intimidation? Well, I mean, I feel like all workers should be slightly intimidated that they might do their job if they are useless and not adding to the bottom line productivity of the company. Notice how he didn't lay off the, the coders, dude. And he laid off like three people in the executive rank. That's so strange because he said he would lay off 75% of the company. Why didn't he do that? Huh? It's just weird that he didn't do that. That's so strange that he didn't do that. Help say the workers. As we speak, Twitter is helping to uplift independent journalism in Ukraine and Iran, as well as powering social movements around the world. So what exactly were their demands? They actually made demands of the person who just bought their company and will presumably put them on the bread lines. Quote, we demand Elon Musk explicitly commit. Dude, it's so funny that like Ben is literally saying Elon owns you. Like he is like, he's your God King. Like, like, how dare you f speak out against your boss? It's such a wild, it's such a wildly transparent f disdain for the working class. But because Americans are so goddamn cuck, they can't even comprehend it. They're not even thinking about it like it's a th uh, like it's, it's uh, weird. To preserve our benefits, those both listed in the merger agreement and not, e.g. remote work. So we insist that you allow us to continue to work not from the office. We demand leadership to establish and ensure fair severance policies for all workers before and after any change in ownership. We demand dignity, transparent, prompt, and thoughtful communication around our working conditions. We demand to be treated with dignity and to not be treated as mere pawns in a game played by billionaires. Sincerely, Twitter workers. Oh, single sad tear for, for the Twitter workers. Uh, it's so it's so sad. You demand to not be treated as, as pawns by the people who sign your paycheck? That's that's called being an employee. It's not being a pawn. So you're paid for your job. If you don't do your job, you're going to go away. That is what's happening here. And it, it is truly amazing to hear people who are paid. Okay, so this coverage so far has been the first half of it before he went into some weird, like, used car salesman ad was just basically saying like Elon Musk is low-key kind of stupid for buying Twitter. The company is like shitty, doesn't know how to make money, no discernible way, mean of means of, of generating revenue or turning profit. Then he turned around and said, it's because like, you know, they're gay and eating hot chip and playing foosball instead of working, which is of course an idiotic assessment considering that, um, you know, all of those measures are put in place by the company, including every other company, including Tesla, including most Silicon Valley companies to keep workers uh, in inside of the workplace for longer. Um, then he turned around and just said, Elon is owning the libs and that's awesome. And now he's just going on a random tirade about how workers suck and they're spoiled for saying, hey, we demand to be uh, governed with dignity. I mean, th this is so lame. Like he just, why does anybody 
Watch the goal. I wonder if anyone recognized that. Elon needs to buy YouTube next because he's quickly become a censor cesspool. But there are a lot of hardcore engineers at Twitter who are happy as hell to have Elon Musk come in and blow it out. They're narcissistic and entitled, but they're smart enough not to sign their names to that list of demands. Can you imagine employees making it so identify, so easy to identify who should be fired? Thanks for nothing, says that. It's like, brother, the inequality that you are championing right now is one that you would not benefit from. I hate how little solidarity working class Americans have with other working class Americans. Like he's fantasizing about another person being fired from their jobs in an unjustifiable manner. So cuck. So mind bogglingly cuck, dude. I I incredible. Insane. To work at Twitter, complain that they are pawns in Game of Life, like Mongo from Blazing Saddles. And the reality is that for everybody who uses Twitter, many of us feel as though we are pawns in the hands of a vengeful group of petty and ridiculous gods in San Francisco who determine whether or not your freedom of speech will simply be rejected. At any random moment, if you say that a man is a man and a woman is a woman, your account could just disappear. He's like, it's so f***ed up. I just want to say transphobic shit. First of all, no one would f***ing eat you for saying a man is a man and a woman is a woman. Okay. Because like that implies trans men are also men and trans women are also women, right? No, he's not saying that. He's saying like, I want to be transphobic, but Twitter won't let me. It's so f***ed up. <laughs> just don't do it, man. Sometimes you go to a fancy restaurant they're like hey you gotta wear a jacket okay and if you don't have one they give you one right i'm sure ben has done that he follows the code of conduct in his religion he wears the kippa right he doesn't have an issue with that why can't you just be normal and and you know use the platform and follow the rules what elon musk believes it seems is that as many voices as possible should be heard and that the best recipe for a very very bad voice is for everybody to basically get to sound off on that very bad voice he literally just said no free speech for the employees of a company he just complained about twitter employees being like hey we're gonna exercise our free speech here and tell you like please treat us with dignity he spent the first half shitting on employees for doing free speech said they don't have that right and then turned around and went why can't i be transphobic i just like none of it makes sense not none of what ben said here makes sense in any meaningful capacity but hey kanye's back ben maybe he'll have some wonderful ideas about jewish media again on twitter you know